Browning, a household word in Canada. In New York, however, he gets a special feeling of anonymity that gives him a sense of freedom, and that could be reflected in his upcoming performance. It's another world. When I'm walking down the street here, I find that I don't find myself thinking of myself as a, a performer or a skater. If, I, if I'm in Toronto, I walk into a, a restaurant, I immediately expect myself to be acknowledged in some way. And then when I'm here, I, I just blend in so well that now I'm starting to think of myself as a person instead of who maybe everyone else thinks of me as. And so, you know, for the next 24 hours, I can just hang out in New York and just be nobody until I step on the ice. And then everyone's watching again. I want to know what you got to say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our men's competition from Canada. And of course, Kurt that Ronnie. sort of fame comes from four world championships and four straight Canadian championships. This is Kurt Browning, south of his border. He is unstoppable because he has so much charisma, but again, it's been keeping the jumps together in the program. Oh, he is really into this, and I'll tell you, this performance actually started before the music kicked in. He was in character playing with his tie before the music even started. That is a professional. Hey, you go? Hey, four, three, hey. Trey, so many different styles in the ice. That's one of the things I love about his skating. Oh, a so big, high. A big delay on that, too. That means he went up, held it for a minute, and then pulled in fast to do the triple. He looks like a different skater than the first program. He's trying to get the crowd with him. <laughs> I love it. Not difficult, but effective. Yes. The jumps are just so easy for him tonight. He's got a good one going, for sure. find a role that's perfect for them from the music to the costume down to the pocket watch chain this looks like a Kurt perfect Brown. setting for Kurt Brown the whole package I think we ought to move from Toronto to New York this, uh, anonymity seems to be working yeah but you see if he puts on a few more performances like this that New York anonymity is going out the window <laughs> right
Now Todd Eldridge skates onto the ice. He was in first place coming into this long program. He has heard the cheers. So has Scott Hamilton from inside the warm-up house. He's making his way outside now. Just for all you skaters at home, in case you're wondering that big difference was between the first number and the second number. Nice big bowl of special K in between the programs. I think I want to try some of that. Yeah, that now we know it's just the cereal. <laughs> Boy, he just did not stop from the get-go. This triple loop, perfect in the air, great air position. That's what he wanted. And he just kept it going throughout the entire performance. Delayed triple south cow. Feet go out, and then he pulls in quick to do three fast rotations. What a master on that jump. And Peter, it was like watching different skaters, short to long program. It was nice to hear him acknowledge that. That was incredible, the transformation. But it was all working, this double axle, half loop, triple toe loop. Those are like the old days when he was winning the world championship. Well, obviously, when he oh, skates for fun, he sixes. can really turn it on. <laughs> Looking for sixes. Yeah. He walks for skating techniques for Kurt Browning. 5.6. I meant five sixes. Five Sorry. Point six. oh, I'd say five these are low. Point six. Al, I'm in your camp on this one. Six. It should have been five higher. Point six. What are they looking for? Uh, that's my family. My Caroline. <laughs> well, they've still got... Now, Todd Eldridge and Scott Hamilton to skate, bear Other in mind. 5.8. See you next time, everybody. Those are a little better, but that would have definitely been a 5.9 or 6 over me. Tough to skate first. 5.7. Judge is holding the marks. 